The Audi A6 e-tron is going to set new standards for these new-gen electric vehicles. With its awesome lighting, it will be a car that everyone would want. Welcome to Mana Tech, and today we're talking about Audi's A6 Avant e-tron. But before we begin, why don't you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. With that note, let's get started. Audi's concept for an all-electric station wagon was unveiled in March 2022 with the Audi A6 Avant e-tron display vehicle. It will likely compete with the upcoming BMW i5 Touring as the world's first or second station wagon. The Audi A6 Avant e-tron adopts the car model's general styling with minor modifications to the lights, grille inserts, and bumpers. The long roof, which makes it a more useful vehicle, is the highlight. The A6 Avant e-tron's designs are near to production, according to Oliver Hoffman, who stated this at the Audi Annual Media Conference 2022 on March 17th. Hoffman sits on the board of management for Audi and is in charge of technical development. Car Magazine claimed in April 2022 that the production version would be around 90% similar, citing Audi designer Wolf Siebers. The A6 Avant e-tron design is much longer and lower than the standard A6 Avant. The car is sportier and notably more dramatic thanks to its dynamically sloping roofline, positive length, width and height differences, and what appears to be a shorter front overhang. The striking back diffuser's two generously sized outlets go well with the electric station wagon's commanding stance. The longer rear quarter glass and wider D-pillar, both painted in Neptune Valley, imply that there is plenty of cargo room behind the back seats. The Audi A6 Avant e-tron will follow the A6 e-tron in terms of interior style. Audi has provided a decent idea of the latter's interior with a sketch of its concept iteration. As a result, we anticipate the A6 Avant e dashboard trons to be more streamlined and organized than the present A6 Avant. Instead of the customary dashboard integrated compact display, Audi is reportedly going to use a sizable freestanding display. We anticipate that the freestanding display will include convenience and temperature control components. It might ship with the Carried created E3 1.2 software platform, which supports over-the-air software upgrades, just like the Q6 e-tron. The interior of the Audi A6 Avant e-tron might have a large screen and a new operating system, identical to what we saw in the A6 e-tron concept. A completely digital instrument cluster would operate under the same software as the large central display and would complement it. The Q4 e-tron with Audi's new generation steering handle should be expected. Audi's newest simulated mirrors may be found on the A6 Avant e-tron. The use of digital side mirrors in upcoming Audi electric vehicles is plainly indicated by the two displays located between the A-pillar and the front doors. Finally, the business may widely use environmentally friendly products that are cruelty-free, recyclable, and reusable throughout the cabin. 4.96 meters in length, 1.96 meters in breadth, and 1.44 meters in height make up the Audi A6 Avant e-tron. Just 0.02 units separate its drag coefficient from the A6 Sportback e-tron. Despite having dimensions that are comparable to the current A6 Avant, you can anticipate that the space levels in the electric version will be higher. The PPE chassis, jointly created with Porsche, serves as the foundation for the A6 Avant e-tron concept. The front and back axles of the electric station wagon are five link axles that have been modified for EVs. It has adjustable dampers and air suspension. Two motors, one attached to each axle of the A6 Avant e-tron concept car's front and back wheels, together produce 350 kilowatts of power, which is 469 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. Audi claims that the A6 Sportback e-tron prototype car only deviates slightly in value from the Avant and can reach 100 kilometers an hour in less than 7 seconds. The 800 volt recharge system in the Audi A6 Avant e-tron is impressive. Its 100 kilowatt hour battery cell can be charged at a maximum rate of 270 kilowatts. Using DC fast charging, a range of more than 300 kilometers can be achieved in just 10 minutes. 
DC fast charging takes less than 25 minutes to go from 5% to 80%. The maximum range of the variant with a full charge has not yet been revealed by Audi. The A6 e-tron family models will have a WLTP range of up to 700 kilometers, based on the drive system and power output that is chosen. The Audi A6 Avant e-tron concept made its debut in front of the general public at the 2022 e-car expo in Solna, Sweden, which was hosted from April 20. 9th to May 1st, 2022. That is a wise decision given that the Swedes are quick to embrace electric cars and have a soft spot for station wagons. The A6 Avant e-tron concept is featured in a walk-around film by YouTuber Peter Essa. To create interest in the production model, Audi should keep displaying the concept car in different cities around the world. Additionally, the Swedish Audi subsidiary announced before the display that the A6 Avant e-tron would go on sale. It stated that the Avant e-tron prototype car's series-produced counterpart will debut in 2024. The business previously stated that it intended to introduce the A6 e-tron sedan in 2023. Oliver Hoffman recently reaffirmed Audi's commitment to wagons and hinted that the A6 Avant e-tron will soon be available in dealerships. The A6 Avant e-tron concept obviously represents Audi's upcoming PPE platform-based electric vehicles, according to Audi's R&D boss, who spoke to Top Gear in September 2022. Audi is currently touring the globe with its A6 Avant e-tron concept car. Recently, it took a flight to China to exhibit the electric wagon at Auto Guangzhou 2020. 2022, which began on December 30th, 2022. For the first time, Audi EVs built on four distinct platforms, the Q2L e-tron MQB, Q4 e-tron MEB, RS e-tron GT J1, and A6 Avant e-tron concept are on display together. It's not difficult to assume that a full-fledged RS performance with zero pollution is in the works, but we're not speculating. Hoffman stated to Top Gear on March 18th, 2022 that Audis will also include some performance variants of it when the A6 e-tron is introduced. The strongest representatives of the A6 e-tron line, according to Audi, will be high-performance models with 0 to 100 kilometers per hour sprint times of less than 4 seconds. Keep in mind that this vocabulary is pluralistic. It is likely that the business is referring to two Audi RS6 e-tron models, a Sportback Coupe and an Avant station wagon. Audi A6 marketing boss Nico Martins has suggested that the next-gen RS6 may come in ICE and electric variants, with the latter possessing an even sportier possibility, as per the April 2022 Car Magazine report. The British publication expects the electric RS6 to sport an 800 plus HP dual motor powertrain and arrive in 2025. Now, will Audi introduce the electric station wagon in America? With the company already offering the A6 All Road Quattro and RS6 Avant in the country, we don't see a reason why they should not. Going by the description that the company gave, this car will be pretty amazing. There are many things that need to be taken care of before it can hit the market, but as it is an Audi, I don't doubt it even a little bit. We still don't know when it will hit the market, and there will definitely be many changes before it does, but those changes will be in the best interest only. Let's hope it hits the market soon. That's all for today about Audi's A6 Avant e-tron. Now let us know your opinion about the car in the comments. I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.